look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that landed right on the edge. Right on the edge. I'm gonna pull it off, ready? Oh, there we go. I couldn't do that again if I tried, I don't think. Check that out, my pole was on the boat and apparently a bird shit right on top of it. That's some skill right there. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Let's get after it. Let's get friggin' after it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So I found this little spot. I, I didn't find this spot. I actually see people down here quite a bit under this bridge. And as a fisherman, just like anybody else that's a fisherman, I feel like you should be gathering information. You should be talking to people and uh, finding out what they're catching or just kind of watching and seeing what happens. And it kind of turns you on to new spots that you can go and that you can try different things. I mean, a lot of the things I've learned fishing have been by talking to other fishermen and watching how they're catching fish and it's not copycatting it's uh it's doing what's working i mean that's exactly what you should do so i found this little spot i got some information about it i'm gonna go down here and see if i can catch some bigger fish some smaller fish just get into some fish and maybe make it one of my new spots so um i tell you what let's go fishing so i've heard that there's some different types of fish down here bowfin just all different kinds they all kind of get squeezed through this little channel. So I think I'm going to start with a topwater bait just to try it, see what happens. I've been seeing a, a few things kind of eating up top. And I always like to start with topwater in a place like this. You know, when you got that weed structure along the outside and you got big fish out here, um, it's midsummer, the water temperature's up. I think uh, a lot of these fish are laying down in that cool water at the bottom and they're looking up. And when you can get a frog or something else that's gonna get some attention kind of dancing across the top of that water, you got a good shot to get a big fish. But well, at least I'm cleaning out the uh, canal for everybody. This new spot is awesome, yes. Yes. Oh, oh. <sighs> freaking missed it. Oh, darn it. Let's see if I can get him this time. That was a good bite, but not successful. There we go, now we got one. That one we got. All right, looks like a Northern. No, oh, the first one here is a little northern. Just a tiny, tiny little guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now calm down, fella. I don't want to get bit. I don't want to get hooked. I don't want you to get hooked worse. I want everybody to come out of this unscathed. Okay? All right. Let's show you to our friends at home. Just a little guy. I think this is the one that just missed me as well. Um, but northern pike. And he's gone. Not a very big one anyway, but fun nonetheless. Let's get back out there. That was fun. Lots of fun. I just, I love catching fish, period. Find a new little spot, top water bite. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. 
twice that fish missed it. I don't know if you saw that or not. All right, let's get back after him again. Come on, I'm coming through your neighborhood again. You don't want it? Oh, again. He missed it twice. <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh. What the fudge? You had to have seen that. What the fudge? That's all I can say. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah. There we go. I saw him come up right by where I was reeling and I actually thought, I'm gonna try for that because it's a freaking bowfin. Heck yes. Check this out. Oh my God. This is a huge fish too. Big and mean. <laughs> that. That is something right there. <laughs> He's off. He's off. All right, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him under control here if we can. Whoo! That is a big, mean fish right there. What a fight. So that's a bowfin. Sometimes people call them dogfish. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not a dog, well, I mean, you can call it a dogfish, but this is no joke. I think I damaged his eye right there, dang it, with that hook. But this is no joke. This fish right here, oh, hoo -hoo, he's making some noises. This fish right here is, uh, he's a freaking crazy fish. Um, probably four or five pounds. I saw him come up out there and he just smacked the crap out of that frog. Wow. <laughs> What a blast. Uh, my youngest son caught one of these, uh, I don't know, a few years ago, a couple years ago. And it was actually, um, I, I believe, potentially a state record. I have the picture of it. I'll put the picture up on this, uh, on this video so you can see it. And uh, check out how much bigger that one is than the one I just caught here. So let's get him back in the water because I have no use for him. And of course, I don't want to kill him. So that was fun right there. Hoo -hoo. All right, let's go, boy. See you later. I think he's all right. All right. Oh, yeah, he's taking off. Beautiful fish. Yes. Awesome, awesome topwater action right there. Dirty hands and all, let's do it. <laughs> wow, the aftermath of a big fish like that, you know what I mean? You just got all excited, your, your adrenaline's pumping. He, he pulled the shit out of this, right? He like bent, he actually bent this lure right here. Um, I'm telling you, that's a that's a fight right there. And and part of the reason I came down here is people said there were some bow fins down here, and uh, I knew how good of a fight that would be and how much fun that would be. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and set back up the right way. <laughs> I think it is pretty close, and uh, we'll see what we can get done again. All right, let's get them. Come on, you top biting son of a bitch! Were you scared? You scared to bite now? You scared to bite now? Now you scared because you're scared I'm gonna freaking hook your face. Hey, scared guy. Hey, won't bite a guy. Hey, he's scared. He's scared, scared, scared. Are oh, you scared? Are oh, you scared? Won't bite it now, will you? Because you're scared. And you know you've been missing it every time because you're scared. All right, so I've tried some top water. I've tried the Senko. Um, I think it's gonna be time now to try a let's try some live bait let's try a worm i'm gonna get a bobber and a worm all right so i'm gonna go ahead and hook up a whole night crawler and the way that i'm gonna do it this time since i have such a large hook is i'm gonna hook about an inch apart probably four times three four times and then i'm gonna go ahead and run 
the worm up over some of the gear to kind of spread it out a little bit, make it look a little more natural. Then I'm gonna hook down through the worm, as you've seen me do before in my other videos, and I'm gonna pop out. There's something, there we go. Oh, and it got off. I see, well, hmm. There we go. There's something with a little size to it. Oh, what the fudge. Oh my God, come on. Mm -mm. I gotta load up on this some beach. You're gonna try to make fools of me. You're gonna try to make fools of me. I've had something hooked twice that has stoutness. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, did you see that, everybody? Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I told you it had some stoutness. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I think about ripped the pole out of my hand just for trying to set the hook. Come on. Bite me again, you son bitch. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Did you see that, everybody? Snapped it like it was nothing. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I, I don't know if you saw it, but that was a big fish. Whoo, I've got to tie on. Come on now. I saw a little swirl over here. Let's see if I can get over here by him and get him interested. Maybe there's a bowfin out here. I've been fishing this weed edge over here. I haven't been paying attention as much over here. Maybe there's a giant hanging out over here. There he is, maybe. No, but he did bite. Let's go back off him one more time. Sorry for the dirty hands. I tried to clean them up for you, but it's exciting. <laughs> there's a big fish. Oh yeah, okay. That's a good one. What is it? Is it another bow fan? It is. Yeah. <laughs> what a fight. Come on up, big fella. Ooh. <laughs> let him get tired out boy they're not any fun to mess with when they're when they're green I'll tell you that much Jeez. let's get our net probably noticed on the first one I didn't even use the net it was laying right beside me but I was so excited that uh, so excited I didn't even use it oh I got this one Whew. Oh. Man, another giant. Whew. Let's see how we got, okay, don't scare me now. You gotta behave. <laughs> All right. I get him under control and get him by the fin. I get him under control and get him by the fin. Or by the gill. What a nice fish. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's a, that is a nice fish and a good time, let me tell you. Wow, that's a, you know what? See the big, see the spot on his tail? Very indicative of the bow fin. 
Very nice. This this place just full of them, obviously. Oh, and he's gone. I knew he was going to do that at some point. Whew, what a bunch of fun we're having tonight now. Man. Oh, right under the water. Oh, man. The whole thing just shot under the water. Almost like he grabbed the bobber. That was unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna get a big in this time. You ready? Join me. Let's get him. There, I got him. That's it. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, dang it. The, the tackle is just failing me. Look at this. He opened up. He opened up my swivel. Wow. Okay, well, time to go back to the drawing board and time to maybe tie straight to the hook. Sorry for the dirty fingers, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a Palomar knot. So I'm gonna go loop through the end here, just like that. And I'm gonna pull that loop right through, okay? And then how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to tie it kind of like an overhand knot like this through the loop, grab that loop end, right? So you got it just one time through. Then I'm going to take this hook and just sneak it right through that loop that I just pulled through, through there, right? Okay. And then all of that, I'm going to bring back this way, make sure it gets all nice and straight and just keep pulling until it's tight. Now, I don't know if that's uh, gonna help too many of you. I hope it does. This has been one of the easiest and strongest knots that I have learned. And there you go. Let's see if this will hold up because this will not bend. Let's, let's hope it doesn't. What a great time this has been. Bowfin fishing, man. I'm telling you, if you can find them, if you can find a spot where they are, this is where it's at. Two turntables and a microphone. You know what I'm saying? Perfect cast. What do you got? Come on, what do you got? You freaking scared of the new worm or what? That's not a bite. There we go. There we go. Now what? Huh? Now what? Come here, big fella. Oh yeah. That's a heck of a freaking heck of a fish. It's another giant bow fan. Oh, oh you guys. Whew. Look at this fish. Oh, yeah, he's mine. Oh. <sighs> I got you, buddy. You messed with me enough, and I got you finally. <laughs> Whew. All right, well, it's been a great night. A great night, and I've gotten, uh, as you've seen, some of these and some other stuff. And uh, I gotta tell you, getting out there and getting information from other fishermen, it can be a key. This spot didn't look like anything to me. It's, as you can hear, it's a busy, it's right next to a bridge that a lot of traffic goes by, and it's a small, small creek like spot. But this little creek channel has got some big, big fish in it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? Fish ranch and out.